Additional bad news for President Trump, <clears throat> he's not having a lot of winning. Uh, the Muslim ban, or if you want to call it a travel ban, has been knocked down again by a federal appeals court on today. They left in place the freeze that was uh, instituted um, previously in the, in the last uh, executive order. So the broad ruling from the U.S. Court uh, appeals of Appeals for the Fourth Circuit means that the Trump administration will not be able to enforce their travel ban. Uh, Jeff Sessions, of course, has jumped into the fray. He says that he's going to uh, take this directly to the Supreme Court. Uh, Sessions also went on and said that President Trump is, quote, well within his lawful authority to keep the nation safe and is not required to admit people from countries that sponsor or shelter terrorism until he determines that they can be properly vetted and do not pose a security risk to the United States. This is our attorney general. So the decision today was a 10 to 3 decision on the Fourth Circuit. Um, and the language I found um, pretty, uh, pretty fascinating. I, I really enjoyed the language from the, uh, the decision. They said that they found that the travel ban was, quote, in context, drips with religious intolerance, intolerance animus, and discrimination. They decided uh, that the president cannot go unchecked when, as here, the president wills through an executive edict that stands to cause irreparable harm to the individuals across the nation. And so it leaves in place a nationwide injunction issued, uh, according to the Washington Post, issued in March by the U.S. District Judge Theodore uh, Chang uh, in Maryland. So this, this really kind of pinges on, or hinges rather, on the language that Donald Trump and uh, Rudy Giuliani used throughout the campaign and subsequently after the campaign. Uh, it, it, the question was raised, how long will President Trump be held accountable for his words where he expressly said that we're going to shut down uh, the, in, the immigration of all Muslims into this nation until we can figure out what the hell is going on. And, and so this is where the decision, um, this is how the decision uh, was made in all of the previous uh, court cases. And again, it's carried out the same exact way. The intent of the president of the United States must be or is being uh, incorporated into the decision, deciding that whether or not President Trump admits it on paper at this point, they're able to look back into the extent and the full body of his work during the campaign and that of Rudy Giuliani, who went on television after the fact. This is how smart they are. Sarcasm. He went on to television after the fact and said that President Trump wanted to know how he could legally institute a Muslim ban. And so that conversation was incorporated into this. And ultimately, they came up with a decision that says that the travel ban, quote, in context, drips with religious intolerance, animus and discrimination. So now we're at the point where they are going to go to the Supreme Court. Uh, a challenge must go before Chief Justice John G. Roberts. Uh, he will receive an emergency petition from um, to, to be seen with regards to this case. Uh, the interesting thing about this, it, well, it'll be interesting to see how it's divided in the Supreme Court, um, where, uh, where the different, uh, ju justices fall on this, uh, in the case, um, that was just decided today in a 10 to three decision, everyone on, uh, the, the, uh, the 10, 10 of the justices who decided against this, um, they were all appointed by a democratic president. And four who wanted to allow the ban were all appointed by a Republican president. Judges matter. Absolutely matter. And a lot of times we try to act as though justices are above the political fray. If that was the case, then we likely would not have to go through the confirmation processes that we go through because of all the questions that are asked and all of the, the positions that need to be put on record. Justices and judges, they absolutely matter, which really should shine a light on how precarious of a situation um, progressivism is in right now with the fact that Donald Trump is getting ready to appoint, I believe, almost 120 judges. Um, many of most of which, if not all, I'm sorry, I think we can concretely say all of them will be conservative judges. And if any other seat becomes available on the Supreme Court, he's going to stack it with conservative justices. 
And so, as you can see with this decision today, which was essentially decided down party lines, we, we really don't use that language with regard to this, uh, to any court, but in this case, the 10 that were against the, against the travel ban were all appointed by Democrats. The three that were for it uh, were all appointed by Republicans. We can say that this decision was along party lines. And now we have a president who has the authority to appoint so many more judges. We, uh, have to see how far and how long those ramifications, how far and how long we have to live with those ramifications.